increase the volume of the freaking recording. Because dear god, it has gotten loud. To make this interesting, because apparently the mermaid brought us underwater, and we can't breathe underwater yet. We'll figure out a way. <laughs> Well, once you were close enough to the surface, that moon's light could still see waves. It is very dark. You could scarcely see. Well, <laughs> your vision is beginning to blur. You can feel an uncomfortable pressure weighing down on your, your inner body. You have descended. You realize you, with a ripple of anxiety, too deep. Humans were not meant to descend this these depths. The water. Once cold, feels freezing. It curses every inch of closed flesh, as if you have what little warmth you might still possess. You shiver, and when you do, that you could hear your teeth scattering. Say the water would up to your ears. The water is uh, stopping. Yeah, stopping uh, up your nostrils. There's uh, there's so much water down here at the bottom of the ocean. It is endless. Mermaid might be able to breathe underwater, but you are not so fortunate. Your body is far less Hendrix than hers, and it requires oxygen, with which you in your body and with continuous strength, not salty water. The thought of trying to inhale the endless water around you makes you shudder. You would rather not attempt it. Of course. <laughs> you do not have gills. When, you, when will the mermaid take you back to the surface? Surely, you must know that you have, uh, have fast begun near your limit. You have been underwater for far too long, and it is cold, and it, it is dark. Dark now. In any event, you cannot see much of anything. The joy you once felt during the underwater adventure has begun to dissipate. Just like the last of the oxygen you still possess. It is time to return to the surface now. But how are you to communicate this to the mermaid? Not speak. He is not looking at you. He is starting to in staring instead, fixedly on at something beyond your comprehension. Something far away. Perhaps in the underwater gloom that you 
Let's see. Now, not knowing what else to do, try to pull your arm free from the mermaid's grasp. Hope this will signal her, her that going car carried away for in her endeavors that he ought to cut short the pure expression and return to the shore. The mermaid does not react, however, to attempt to escape her. Her, gri her grip does not slacken. Suppose you had hope. I from about your wrist. In fact, it is quite the opposite. It feels as though she's gripping you tightly than she, than she was, as if revenge yurks. But why would she do that? You tap the shoulder and to get her attention. Gesture which prompts her for a long last turn. Her fair hair blow, blows about her, passing the wa in the water like a shroud. Then she says in, in that calm measured in incredibly reasonable voice and covers yes dear yes dear that yes yes dear if you could if you could you would open your mouth to reply to her the lad you are a human girl not a fish and let's speak water to attempt to do so to accomplish not not a failing your pretty little mouth water and the mermaid really ought to have better that before she started that dirty question but comforts the last thing in the mermaid's mind. Seems too gently delicate then says, I understand being on the water for so long. Might be the beginning to take its toll for me. Of course. <laughs> As land dwellers aren't exactly best at a Breathing underwater. Not specialized equipment. Does your lungs feel like iron? Are they heavy? She is so she does understand your love. You might not be able to speak. Suspended. Suspended as you are. Dark. Uh, darky. Dark mer. Murky dab. Communication. That be impossible. You nod your head pathetically, hoping that it will be enough to keep your distress apparent. But child, oh, that will happen. It's not so far. Not so far. Oh, I have a heart. Of drowning. Not that I have ever had the opportunity to experience it for myself. What do you mean? Are you telling me that it's like trying to teach a fish? Trying to drown a fish? I'd be pointless. <laughs> I am capable, you see, uh, of meeting. I denied in such a manner. Oh, what was that? What could that mean? I mean, I mean, I mean, the mermaid answers. He, he, 
Can she read minds? But this was a calculated act upon, upon my part. Forgive me, Silvan. What's the moment you can connect and sense it to thinking the niece of art of the sneak? Your face will seal. The lungs will be a pleasant response of food. And soon enough, then you will die. This is not a pretty way to go. Who means lovey out of your corpse bloating? Definitely. Or being eaten by fish, though. I will take good care of it. I promise. I knew this was gonna happen. And I called it out several episodes in a row. In dead. You will look lovely. Almost angelic. That's what the two always wanted. You do not know what the mermaid thinks. It is exactly. Uh, you won. I uh, you think. They're laboring under some grim misunderstanding. Well. You would like to try and correct her. You do not want to die, but of course, do not open your mouth. What a pity. Well, at least it serves me the it gives me the effort of transcribing your dying plea. I doubt that you I partially in Interesting. If the uh, want to know why I'm doing this, then why not mind a pity? I have no secrets from you. Other than a secret, perhaps? That uh, upon your first meeting, he nurse. First twisted sinner all the part. A desire to bring about your your watery murder. You might have likely might have liked all that before you agreed to sink beneath the ocean surface with her. <sighs> The sad part is I called it out to you. Creatures of the sea like a mermaid would normally try to just drag you underneath the water. It's what they do. It happens. Correctly. Depending on which watery creature it can be, it will be ill vary slightly, depending. But yes, it will vary. I am the only one doing this, because I have no choice. The other girl I like, after all, the one who held the word disappeared. He went away, I was not again afforded the opportunity to see her. Do you remember me? Is Remember, remind me of that girl. So, you do not look much like. You do not act the very like the girl. But, you both the woman who despite the delicacies have no shortage of determination. Oh, your kind is able to with when your lifespans are so very short, and you are the scholar to so very much that I sit ceases the mystery to me. Oh, I stand 
far eclipse this before. And as far as my standard, I cannot help but marvel at the audacity of your humor. And also that if I were to, but as far as your zero, I would not be able to exist in the this world. I would be uh, far too afraid. I would be too. I would my own ass looking behind me every every quarter. That's because humans just get used to it. <laughs> Just as you can see, your own death looming before you is not so very far away now. You can feel it coming closer and closer, and closing its cold, icy fingers around your throat. The woman's incredible. I could not help but. Uh, you speak and the beautiful things you are. You react, respects your tenacity. So very much to push it. That does not make very much sense. I have my thoughts are confusing to you. But Makes perfect sense, at least. And from here, let's end the episode here. Oh, I hope all you guys have a great old time and a great day too. Well, we question what the mermaid was even thinking to. Well, I'll see you guys next time. <sighs> I had the mermaid music. Here's a happen.